Hey guys, because a few people have asked, uh, I decided to film a quick little tutorial on how to split your description into two parts, a top piece of content for perhaps an overview and a bottom piece of content that you may want to put underneath your individual product listings. You see this on sites like TopTow, which essentially have, you know, uh, their headline overview listings and then a large long form article. This helps them with search. Um, whether or not this will help you for search is another thing. But for this, we're just going to talk about tactically how to get this done on Shopify. Um, so setup wise, the first thing that we do in our collection is we create two pieces of content within the description. The first is the top piece of content and then the bottom content. And then we create a separator. This can be whatever you want. You know, you can, you can actually literally type in, uh, what is it? Separator if you want, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do three dashes because that's super easy to implement. We're then going to hit save, check our collection, and notice that that works all nicely. Now that we know that this works all nicely, we want to edit the theme to actually split this into two parts. We're going to go to your um, theme editor, so that's online store themes, and then find the file where your collection uh, is being uh, essentially built out. For me, in this kind of like demo theme, this is under collection-template.liquid. For others, it might be in collection.liquid. It just really depends how your developer or whatever theme you've purchased has set things up. But really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for somewhere that's called collection.description, right? Once I, once I have that, I'm more or less kind of good to go and uh, start editing away. So right now, um, let's uh, actually, I think it's... Uh, there's a few mentions here. So uh, collection dot description. Here we go. Yeah, there's a few of these here. From memory, it's this one is the one that I got to edit. So you may actually have to edit uh, what I'm about to show you in a couple of places. Um, but yes, I'll leave that to you guys to work out because every theme is different and fairly unique. So, uh, okay, cool. I've got the collection here. Um, I don't want to just print it. So right now uh, with this liquid tag, it's just going to print the text. I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to... Um, whoa got a bit of a thing. I want to assign a new variable. So I'm going to do assign and I'm going to call this SEO content. And then I'm going to say that this equals collection dot description. And then I'm going to split this out. And I'm going to say the split is going to be three dashes. Okay. Um, done. So now I have a brand new variable. If I actually just um, print that variable, so SEO content um, and hit save and go back to the website, you can see it's now printed both parts with without the little separator in there. That's a really good sign. It means we're more or less got up to work. If I just want to print the first one, uh, because this is essentially an array, so a couple of objects in here, I, if I just want to do the top piece, I just do the first bit in the array. So I, I click save, I refresh the page, and then you see I just have the top content. If I want to print the, the bottom content, all I have to do is grab this snippet, find somewhere in my theme that I want to paste it. I'm going to actually paste it underneath the pagination objects and I'm just going to hit one. Once I hit save, I'm going to refresh the page and now I've got the bottom content here. So we've achieved exactly what we wanted. Um, you can basically split as many objects as you want. One, two, three, four, five different objects. Again, all you have to do is just add this separator. So if we do third content, so let's, let's uh, actually test this. Second content. Uh, first content, here we go. I'm gonna hit save. I'm going to uh, refresh this page and you see first content, second content, and then let's uh, all the way down the bottom, let's make this the third content. Again, if that's confusing why the third piece of content is two, it's because all arrays are gonna start at zero. I'm gonna hit refresh. And there we go. We've got our first piece of content, our second piece of content, and then our third piece of content. So hopefully this uh, tactical video was helpful and easy to follow along to. Uh, if you've got any questions, just ask below in the comments. Cheers. Bye.